is Oprah. <laughs> Well, in my opinion, house music uh, really came from Chicago. So, you know, we, uh, we just adapted, you know, and uh, we were lucky to have their music and play it together, you know, in New York and New Jersey. So I believe they're responsible for house music. Cause problems? No, I don't think so. I think the more the, mer the merrier, the more, uh, the wider it goes, the better it is. Um, we were kind of uh, secluded to, uh, or narrowed to a certain uh, audience. And with technology, I mean, the world gets it so easy now. So it's better for everybody, I believe. Volume, that's about it. Just volume, volume of things. Uh, of course, I'm always uh, biased to analog and, you know, warmer sounding things. Uh, but um, you can't beat the, uh, the volume that you're able to take with you. So that's about it for me, just volume. Well, I really don't make that much music uh, anymore. I just basically play music that I get a hold of and try to pick the best ones that I can. Um, and my advice to younger people is just to do research uh, and um, all the things that you want to either sample or use you should check out the origin first. You may have a different opinion after you've check, checked out the original to a lot of things. Um, these people have spent a lot of money to put those things together where you may just take a piece. But, you know, these were real musicians a lot of times. Uh, people who know music really well. And uh, it should be an interest of yours you know, to uh, really research music that uh, that's appealing to you, no matter what genre it is. That's what I feel. Well, uh, I was uh, part of Tony Records. Tony Records is now being ran by my colleagues here. Um, and uh, they have a wonderful catalog and they have a lot of new things coming out now. They got Chelsea, they got a whole lot of artists uh, that are coming out now. So um, I would hope that people will still focus on them because uh, the train hasn't stopped. <laughs> much really I uh, I don't uh, it's it's all been beautiful and um, there isn't that much that I say I haven't been able to do um, I've met famous people I've worked with famous people so um, it's been really really good to me so I'm happy I would say to them, thank you. That's what I would say. Um, I've worked together with them. Uh, I've been on tour with them as the Kings of House New York City uh, for like the last five years. Um, and it's incredible to uh, be around those guys and um, to see how professional they are and the quality that they, uh, they put into their work and the show that they put on. So, you know, I learned a lot from them, and uh, again, what I would say to them is, thank you. <sighs> too many, <laughs> too many, too many. Um, he was one of the best.
best friends you could have. Uh, respectful, kind, not judgmental. He, uh, he meant a lot to me. Uh, he hired me. Um, he always looked out for me. Um, and he's, he was just a perfect human being to me. Uh, I don't know anyone who ever had an issue with Frankie Knuckles. Um, I think that's all I'm going to say right now. I don't want to get too emotional. <laughs> I never saw my, uh, looked at myself that big before. <laughs> it's crazy. <sighs> Let's see. Let's do it here.